Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, um, Lily's Hair Kitchen. So I'm just here because I wanted to share something with you guys that I just discovered literally like five minutes ago. I don't know, it just popped in my head to like try it. Um, okay, so like, for example, like if you have like long nails, like these nails ain't that long, but they, they kind of long. And like you have to take, like I've been going on like interviews and stuff like that and you got to take like your piercings out and stuff. The nose ones, not too difficult. I mean, if you need help with that, I guess you could use this method. But like trying to get these in, the ones with the, like, the little balls and like, you know what I mean? Um, what I decided to do, and I've not seen anybody on YouTube do this and I've been like looking, is you know like those um, those pins you use or those whatever, let me, let me show you guys. These little pins that you use, a nail katana or a nail gem picker thing. So I take the, the ball part that you try to put in and um, I pick it up with that and then I like go like this and then turn it the way that obviously to tighten it and to put it on. I tried using this. This was kind of, I mean, it seemed like it wanted to work. It seemed like it wanted to work, but it kept falling off of it when I was trying to turn it. So that didn't work. So then what I tried to do was then um, I decided to use a Q-tip. So I used a Q-tip and some nail glue, my chest nail glue. Um, It's Beauty Secrets nail glue from Sally's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can use any nail glue though, it'll probably be fine. Um, but yeah, so like one side of the Q-tip, like I just put like a dot on there and kind of like blew on it, kind of like want you want it to get a little tacky, like wait for it to dry, kind of. Not all the way dry though, but like get tacky. Then you want to pick up the side of the like the ball, like the whatever. Um, obviously that doesn't have the opening on it, like the opposite side of it. And then like the ball, the ball that has the side that has the opening should be facing up. So you put that on the top and it should be facing up. And then you put it on like this, put it, attach it to like the, the rod or whatever. And then you turn it and turn it and turn it. And then until it tightens. Yes, this is going to seem annoying. And this is going to seem weird. But like, if you have long nails, like that's another way that I discovered, I just discovered I do that. Because there's so many things that I was just like, damn, how the fuck do I do this like with long nails? And like I've been figuring out how to do things with my long ass nails. Because I love my nails. I'm sorry. I'm extra. I love my nails. And I really don't want to get rid of them. Um, so, But I'm not going to like let my shit seal up either. Like my holes seal up in my face. So I'm like, how do I do this without asking somebody else to help me and like touch my face and shit? So yeah. And so once you finally get up, because you will this will come off like mine's came off just fine i did it for this one right here it's gonna feel a little rough because of the nail glue being on there so then the opposite end which is this end you take a little bit of acetone and you just kind of like go over the ball and it's like good as new it's totally fine it doesn't feel like rough because of the glue or whatever anymore so that's basically what you have to do like i was trying to put this motherfucker in for literally like 20 minutes and i, I just could not do it like i was getting stressed and mad so um, I just came up with this and now that I know that I can do it like hey we good acetone is three dollars at Walmart okay you probably get Dollar General as well um I mean I'm sure you could just use like nail polish remover from the dollar store too but I just use acetone because that's what I do and then like nail glue you can use any nail glue I wouldn't suggest gorilla glue or super glue I mean I guess if you have super glue bitch use super glue whatever who really cares like it's fine because it doesn't really matter um but as long as you have if you're gonna do that then I would suggest you definitely have like acetone to be able to like get the glue off of your like jewelry or whatever because it's just it's gonna cake on there if you keep doing that over and over again it's gonna cake on there and then you're gonna get pissed off but yeah so just so with the opposite end that didn't have the glue you're gonna flip it over dip it in acetone really good and like the part that you like if it's on your it's already already on your face obviously so wherever on your face that it is so when you put acetone then you know acetone kind of like turns your skin white so you're gonna have to like use oil or lotion or something after you put the acetone on and kind of put lotion over that area and then your skin's fine. But, I mean, obviously this isn't going to be something you do every fucking day because why are you taking your piercings out every single day? Like, if that's the point, if that's what you're doing, then that's kind of annoying. You're better off just leaving it out until all your interviews or for whatever reason that you're keeping it out, go funeral, wedding, whatever, for whatever, whatever reason you're keeping it out, just keep it out for, like, a couple days. I mean, unless it's brand spanking new, then, yeah, you probably do have to put it back in like every day or whatever. But, yeah, so mine's ain't brand new. I've had all these piercings for, like, years, like, for more than five years. So... Some of them 10 years. Um, so they're not going to seal up super fast. Like I keep them out for like a week and they're still going to be there. It might be a little tougher after like seven days to get them in. They might be a little tight. You know, the hold might be a little tight. But they're still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so I'm just giving you guys that little tip. And it worked great for me. So if, if you can get the nail katana to work, like the little, the little nail gem picker to work for you instead, um, then I would suggest do that. Um, use the gem picker. But... 
it was it wanted to work i could see that it wanted to work so bad but every time i was turning it it would pop off like the little the ball would pop off so i was just getting pissed and i said no nah, fuck that we're just gonna use a q-tip and some nail glue and it worked out just fine so you guys i wanted to share that with you thanks for tuning back to my channel don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below if you have any other tips um because this is like i said i've never seen nobody on youtube do this it literally just came to my mind you know so yeah thanks you guys bye